Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for those who have been following our channel, you probably have seen that we are actually challenging one of our shrimp ponds by reusing the water from the crab farm. So today in this video, we'll be showing you some of the progress update in terms of water quality and shrimp growth. closer look on the shrimp that we have actually cultured in this bioflock system. So note that the water that we have been using here is water that has not been disinfected and it came directly from the crab system. So the idea behind is to we are actually seeing whether we can actually grow shrimps by using the cultured water from the crab system which is known to have diseases that might impact the shrimp. So here's some of the close-up of the shrimp. So the first thing you realize it is in terms of the gut, their gut is actually very full. So if we look at the amount of quantity from the shrimp, available shrimps, you can see that we're harvesting from the other side of the pond. You can see that the population is actually still very healthy as well. We actually stocked 2,000 shrimps in this small pond uh, of 3.7 cubic meters. But take note that we did not actually fill up the water all the way so we are only running about 50 to 60 percent of the capacity so a closer look on the shrimp you can see that there are no abrasions or no black spots on the shell indicative of uh, vibro issues and the gut is relatively healthy as well so a couple of updates on the setting tank system we actually retrofitted our setting tanks with uh, valves and uh, ball valves so that we are able to better regulate the flow so you can see in our previous setup the piping might not be so sturdy and in this new and modified setting tank system we have actually improved a lot of its uh, durability so you can see that the valve is used to control the rotameter and over here we do have a desludge valve where we are actually compacting the waste from the bioflock system as you can see that the waste is actually slowly thickening as you open the valve and close the valve so just some water quality update. Uh, so for those of you who are not very familiar, water quality is actually a very important aspect when you're culturing shrimp. And today we'll be going through a few parameters. And the first one is actually ammonia. We have actually measured the ammonia in this system. Uh, this is a zero water exchange bioflock system. And we have not changed the water since the day we stocked the PL. Okay, so the ammonia we've gotten over here is actually 0 0.5 after letting it uh, accumulate for five minutes the ph value we've gotten here is actually very good values of 7.8 very close to ph of h which is actually a textbook quality of uh, in terms of the water acidity and alkalinity so over on this side we'll be actually measuring the calcium levels and the calcium reading is actually a bit low we got about 180 ppm so which we have to add some chemicals to maintain the calcium so lastly, the last measurement we actually taken was actually for magnesium. For magnesium levels, we actually got in about 720 ppm. So the only chemicals we probably have to add in is actually calcium. And that's it. So as you can see that the, the shrimps that are being cultured in the system doesn't have a lot of health issues and they have been feeding and growing quite well. They're about 2 to 3 gram size already and the size is very even. So that's all for this video. We hope you've enjoyed and learned something throughout this video. Thank you.